welcome. This is Aaron with Still Picking. Uh, in this video, I'm going to do a lesson on one of my favorite gospel songs, In the Garden, and uh, show you some things that are pretty interesting. I was messing with the melody and uh, came up with some, maybe some chord progressions that are a little bit different. And uh, we did a cover on this that's posted, so I thought we'd go ahead and do a lesson on it also. So uh, on this particular lesson, I have a backing track only, which will be on our Patreon site. So you can uh, access that by clicking on the card above. So let's look at the song and hope you enjoy it. All right, let's look at this lesson over uh, in the garden. Uh, I came up with an arrangement and like I said, it's, some of it's pretty complicated. Uh, you try not to make the arrangement of the chords so uh, where it becomes to a point of distraction when you're playing. But I, I thought it would bring a little bit of interest uh, to the song. Uh, it's got a great melody and it lends itself well to uh, maybe some chord substitutions and some things. So I uh, thought I would give it a try. I hope you like it. I'm going to uh, play the intro first and then talk that out. And it comes in on, it's like one, two, three, one, two. And the intro goes like this. And the only thing a little different there is that you end on that augmented chord. So that, that's a little interesting. So let's go to our, we're in the key of uh, A. We're going to start out at the 10th fret. We're going to play four, six as a group, and then play one. Okay, and then you play seven, four with your fourth string lowered with the E to E flat knee lever. And now we have this. Okay, the next part goes like this. So that's played five and eight, and then pressing your A pedal. Then lower your 8th string with the E, D flat knee lever. And as you bring in your E, D flat knee lever, you release your A pedal. Okay, then I play 7, 8, no pedals, no knee levers. Add your 5th string while that's ringing. So now we have this. Okay, the next part you go to the ninth fret, play five, eight with the E to F knee lever only. Go to your eighth fret, five and eight, E to E flat knee lever. You can add your seventh string here. Okay, then it goes to the augmented chord. You simply go to your eleventh fret. A and B pedals down, E to F knee lever, play five, six, and eight as a group, and then add your fourth string. Okay, so now the t whole intro goes like this. Okay, the first part of the melody goes like this. Okay, we have to get this uh, first little phrase. You start on your fifth string, fourth fret, slide it to the fifth fret. Okay, when you get to the fifth fret, you pick five and six. So you play fifth string, 
fourth fret by itself. When you go up to your slide to the fifth fret, play five and six. Then you play six and eight, then add your B pedals. So now we've got Then you play five, six, and eight as a group, no pedals, slide it to the 10th fret, add your F knee lever. When you get to the 10th fret, slide that on up to the 12th fret and add your B pedal. So at the 12th fret, you'll have B pedal and F knee lever. So it's five, six, and eight, fifth fret, Slide it to the 10th, add your F knee lever, slide it on up to the 12th, and add your B pedal. Okay, then you simply play five, six, and eight here at the 12th, A and B pedals only. Okay, we're gonna get that little bit of movement in the voicing. We're gonna add our F knee lever to that eighth string while that's ringing. So now we have this. Okay, then you go to your 10th fret, five, six, and eight, A and B pedals, and E, D flat knee lever. Play that, then release your A pedal. So now we have this. Okay, now you can do this, or you can go. So we can play it. We ended five, six, and eight, tenth fret, A and B pedals, E, D flat, knee lever, release A. Then play five, six, and eight, no pedals. And then play five and six at your ninth fret, slide it to the tenth. Play five, six, eight, A pedal down, release it. Okay, so now we've got. And then it goes to a diminished chord. You can play that five, six, nine at your seventh fret, and then add your eighth string with the F knee lever. Okay, the next chord we need will be an A chord. We simply go to the eighth fret, play five, six, eight, A pedal, F knee lever. Okay, so since we have a, a little bit of time on that A, we're gonna slide it from the eighth fret A pedal, eight, six, five, to the fifth fret, no pedals, no knee levers. Okay, so now we have this now. Okay, the next phrase is this. Okay, again, we need this little uh, bit of the voicing as a single note. We play our fifth string at the seventh fret, A pedal down, slide it to the eighth fret. Then you play five, uh, four, five, six, seventh fret, a and B pedals down. Okay, so four, five, six, seventh fret, A and B pedals down. Slide that to the sixth fret, A and B pedals still down. Add your E to F knee lever. Go to the fifth fret, 
play four, five, six B pedal and E D flat knee lever. Then it goes to the minor. So at your fifth fret, press your A pedal down, play five and six, then play two, four, one. Then you can play three, four, five with A pedal still down as a group. Okay, then it's gonna go to the to the two chord and we're gonna play that like this. Okay, you play three, five at the sixth fret, slide that to the seventh, then go to the uh, ninth fret, same group, three and uh, five, B pedal down, Go up one more fret to the 10th fret, release the B pedal. So we have three and five at the uh, sixth, three and five at the seventh, three and five at the ninth with the B pedal, three and five at the 10th, no pedals. Okay, then we're gonna go to an, a B seventh here at the 12th fret, play three, four, five, B pedal in, ED flat knee lever in, and add your A pedal. Then release the A pedal. Okay, then we're simply gonna play, uh, we have a few measures of E, we're gonna go. That's played four, five, six at the 12th. Slide it to the 10th, add your A pedal. Go to your 7th fret, A and B pedals down. 6th uh, fret, A and B, E, D flat knee lever in. 5th fret, A, I mean B pedal and E, D flat knee lever only. Okay, that E part again, where it's going over the E chord, four, five, and six at the 12th. Slide it to the 10th fret, add your A pedal. Go down to your seventh fret, A and B pedals down. Go to your sixth fret, A, B pedals, and E, D flat knee lever. Go to your fifth fret, B pedal, E, D flat knee lever only. Okay, then it goes to the chorus. Okay, that's played at the 12th fret. You play five and eight, and you can go You can pedal into that so play five and eight, then pedal in with the A pedal, then slide down to the 10th fret with A pedal still down. Then you play eight, seven, five with the ED flat knee lever in. Play your fifth string again two times. So we have Okay, then it goes to the seventh fret. You play five and eight, A pedal down, release the A pedal. Then play it again with the A pedal down. Then I go to a B seventh pedal, I mean a B seventh chord or the two chord. I play four, five, four, six, nine, no pedals. Then I play four, five, six A and B pedals down. It goes right back to an E.
Okay, then it's going to go to a, a B minor. I do a little slur on that. I play four, five, six at the ninth fret with the A pedal down, slide it to the tenth fret. Now I play my fourth string two times. Then add my second string, and then lower that second string a whole tone. So you lower that second string a whole tone with a knee lever. Four, five, six, ninth fret, eight pedal down, slide it to the tenth, play your fourth string two times, then play your second string, and then lower it a whole tone. Then it's going to go to an A chord. You simply go to your 12th fret, uh, 5, 6, 8, A and B pedals down. And any of those you can slur. You know, you can add that pedal like that. Okay, so then it does this little lick again. which is a neat chord. It goes to the uh, C sharp, which is like a, a flat four, I guess. So you go five, six, eight at the 10th fret, F knee lever, slide that to the 12th fret, F knee lever still in, add your B pedal. Just like we did a while ago, five, six, and eight, A and B pedals only. Play that again. Okay, now right here we go five, six, and eight, A pedal, F knee lever only. So that phrase sounds like this. Okay, then we do this lick like we did a while ago. You go five, six, eight, tenth fret, A and B pedals down, E D flat knee lever in. Then release your A pedal. Okay, so now we have. Then you play five, six, eight, no pedals. Play five and six again. Okay, then it goes to a diminished. You play five, six, nine here at the 10th fret, slide that to the seventh fret. When you get to the seventh fret, you play your eighth string with the F knee lever in. Now you go back to the 10th fret, lower your E D flat knee lever in, play 8, 7, 5. So it's 8 and 7, then add 5. Then it goes to an E 7th, go to your 12th fret, no pedals, no knee levers. You play 9, 8, 6, then add 5. goes back to an E, I mean an A chord, excuse me. You go to your 10th fret, five, uh, five, seven, eight, with the e, net, e, D flat, knee lever in. Okay, then it's gonna do this lick again. That's simply five, six, eight, at the 10th with the F knee lever, slide it to the 12th, add your B pedal. Play five, six, and eight here with A and B pedals down only. Okay, then I'm gonna to go to a uh, five minor. I go five, six, and eight. Uh, slide that up one fret at a time, 12, 13, 14, 15, with the A pedal down only. Release that A pedal. 
slide that back one fret, 14th fret, 5, 6, and 8, B pedal, F knee lever, and release the B pedal. Okay, I'll talk that out one more time. Five, six, and eight at the twelfth, A pedal down, slide it up each fret up to the fifteenth fret, release the A pedal when you get to the fifteenth. The next little phrase is fourteenth fret, five, six, eight, B pedal, F knee lever, then release the B pedal. Okay, then it's going to go to a D chord, 10th fret, 5, 6, and 8. Then it's going to go to the diminished. I go to the 13th fret, F knee lever in, play 5, 6, 9, slide it to the 10th fret. When you get to the 10th fret, you add that 8th string, which is raised with the F knee lever. So then it comes now back to an A chord. You play at your 10th fret, 7, 8 with E, D flat knee lever in, then add 5. All right, just like we did a while ago, now it's going to go to an E 7th. You play uh, 9, 8, 6, no pedals, then add your 5th string. Okay, for the ending, I'm going to go to a C chord. D chord, uh, C chord, D chord, then A. So at your eighth fret, no pedals, no knee levers, I play eight, six, seven, five, four. So I'm simply walking up the groups. Eight, six, seven, five, six, four. Okay, the next chord it goes to is D. It does the same exact thing. Okay, then I go to my, it's ending on A. I go to my 12th fret, A and B pedals down, third string open, play three and five. So I have A and B pedals, just leave them down, play three and five, then play four and six. Okay, then bring the bar off of four. Four is open now. You play four and six. Then play five and eight. Then play six and eight. you enjoyed this and uh, like I said it's pretty complicated so just back the tape up and learn it in sections and uh, take one section at a time I believe you'll be able to do it so I hope you enjoyed this and uh, let me know what you think about it
All right, as always, Jake and I just want to thank you for tuning in and watching our videos. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to include this song in a lesson. It was one of my favorite gospel songs, and uh, it's got some interesting chords, and I thought I'd try to do a, uh, an arrangement of my own and come up with some things and share them with y'all. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, our YouTube channel, if you do that, we'd appreciate it. Also, if you'd like uh, to be notified when we post new material, if you'd hit the bell icon, then you'll uh, get those notifications. And uh, if you like what we're doing, if you hit the like button, we appreciate the feedback, we appreciate the comments. And uh, if you would be interested in purchasing any of the equipment that we're using, you can go to the Amazon links in the description and uh, get uh, more information on that there. Okay, and like I said at the beginning of the lesson, that we're going to have a backing track only available for this particular song. So you can get that and access that by going to our Patreon site. And you can find that by clicking in the card above or in the link in the description. So as always, Jacob and I just appreciate you. Thank you for all your support with our patrons and uh, the things that we're being able to purchase and some of our monthly expenses that we're being able to cover with your support. Again, I really do appreciate that. So as always, we appreciate you and keep picking.